No person having received a majority of the whole number of votes cast by surname, a speaker has not been elected. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the chair. Uh, Ryan Noble, Steve Kornacki still with us. Ryan, just uh, jump in here for a second and talk to me about the divisions here. We understand the Republicans are going into a meeting to try to figure out what to do next. That's the talk, Andrea, although nothing has officially been scheduled. Uh, the former House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, actually just left the floor a few minutes ago and told our Garrett Hake that he was hearing that there could potentially be a meeting uh, around 1 o'clock this afternoon where they would once again get behind closed doors and try and hash this out. No meeting has officially been scheduled yet. There's just talk of it, and that's usually what happens in the wake of these failed votes. There's talk about gathering together, but usually it's up to the nominee to decide how to proceed. But if I can, Andrea, I just want to share for you this statistic that was uh, put together by our resident Capitol Hill uh, historian, Kyle Stewart, who's on our team. Uh, this is fascinating. Uh, according to Kyle's research, uh, Jim Jordan just tied the record for the fewest number of votes for a majority nominee since the House was set at 435 members. The last person to get 194 votes uh, as a majority nominee was Frederick Gillette in 1923 on the second ballot. Uh, Gillette did end up winning, but it took him nine ballots ballots to win. So that just puts into context just how historic this loss was for Jim Jordan on the House floor. And it also illuminates the trend line that he's facing, where he is losing votes, not picking them up. But despite all that, Jordan seems insistent on moving forward. But it seems pretty clear that even in his efforts, there was some talk that perhaps there was a group of New York Republicans that might move over to Jordan's side today. They all held firm. And in fact, uh, several New York Republicans and Ended up going on the opposite side of voting for Jordan. So this uh, continues to be a very bleak situation. And, you know, obviously uh, this was difficult for Jim Jordan, but to be clear, there's no one else that right now appears to have the support to win 217 votes, which is the reason the House is so paralyzed right now.